This female giant panda here is Chi Chi. She is new to the zoo and the zookeepers were hoping she would mate with the male Ling Ling. But no matter how hard Ling Ling tried to woo her, she seemed totally uninterested. Five years later, still no attraction. So a new male Gao Gao was brought in. Finally, successful mating and Chi Chi even had a baby. But then she was uninterested in tending to her cub's needs. Sadly, a week later, the cub was found dead. This puzzling story repeats for many endangered wildlife species in captivity. Zoos provide vital basics such as food, shelter, water and veterinary care. Yet, despite these benefits, reproductive rates are often low. Impaired ovarian cyclicity, failures to mate, negative pregnancy outcomes and compromised maternal care are all common issues. What could be the reason? Agricultural and human clinical research shows that stress could be the reason acting via multiple routes. First, it may alter the female's hypothalamo-pituitary-gonadal axis responsible for reproductive hormones, so causing fertility and pregnancy problems. Second, it may induce anhedonia, the loss of pleasure compromising normal maternal reactions to infants. What should be cute becomes annoying. Third, stress can cause excessive weight gain especially if females are very inactive. This can cause ovulatory disorders and poor lactation. Fourth, in contrast, it can cause weight loss, especially if females show lots of stereotypic behavior, which is bad for pregnancy. Fifth, and finally, if males are stressed, females may well find them unattractive, and even if they do eventually mate with them, they may then invest less in their offspring. But, why should zoo animals be stressed? It is suspected that a cause of poor welfare is high motivations to perform species-specific behaviors that are impossible in captivity. Enclosures are too small and barren to allow activities such as foraging, hunting, exploration, etc. This frustration is then a likely cause of stress. Improved enriched housing should therefore improve reproduction, but studies of enrichment on endangered animals' reproduction are sparse. And it is often difficult to study such effects in endangered animals in a controlled way. I, therefore, found an alternative solution using mice as model for my work, using them to assess the effects of barren housing on fertility and maternal care, testing all of these five hypotheses. I believe this is crucial for improving welfare, reproductive success and effective conservation of endangered species. And as a mother myself, in a new country, in a pandemic, I also hope to understand why being a mom definitely isn't easy.